Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Taurus. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not sun, moon, or Venus sign specific. This will be for any Taurus placement or propensity that is important to you. Contact information and personal reading info are all on my website. The link for that is in the description box. And this is going to be for the first week of January, although time is not linear. We are all on different timelines. This could have already happened, could be happening now, may happen in the future. At the end, I will also pull some Oracle cards for you, just to give you some more guidance for the week. And we're jumping right in and wishing you all a safe and prosperous, protected New Year's. Love and light to every single last one of you. Go out with a bang. <laughs> Go out with a bang, Taurus. Okay, one more card for Taurus, please. First week of January, what do they need to know? Leaving Sagittarius season into Capricorn season. Ooh, ooh, I see lots of good stuff. I'll take it. Beautiful energy, beautiful energy. Definitely seems like love is on the brain though, Taurus. Love is on the brain for somebody. If not you, there's a whole lot of cups here. Damn, bottom of the deck, major arcana, judgment energy. So could be somebody you've already dealt with. A situation you might've thought was dead and gone, might not be so dead and gone, okay? That body is resurfacing, it's floating, okay? It's washing up onto the shore. It's time someone wants to reevaluate. There's some reevaluation here that is going on, has gone on, is about to go on. Definitely something that uh, we thought was over, not really over. Okay, let's jump in. In your past position, we are starting with the Six of Cups and the Major Arcana, Justice, Libra energy could be relevant. So, I just heard Karmic Soulmates, definitely some sort of Karmic Soulmate here, but Six of Cups is nostalgic energy. Somebody's reminiscing on the past, thinking of the good old days, the good old times, a very pure sort of childlike love period of their life maybe they experience with this experience this with you this could be you sort of remembering a really nice period that you had with someone in particular it could be a libra not necessarily but with this justice card definitely could have been something karmic some sort of karmic lesson that was um involved in this pure sort of experience with someone or something right definitely could have not been balanced okay i'm definitely getting karma with that justice card though could be a libra but definitely getting some sort of karmic energy definitely some sort of karmic energy could be a past life soulmate but definitely there were some lessons learned with this person maybe that's why it ended probably very heavy too especially with that six of cups energy yeah usually the six of cups people are the ones that teach us the deepest lessons right because that Six of Cups energy is just what we need to keep us around long enough to learn it. Unfortunately, that's just how humans work. There needs to be some sort of carrot dangled, right? That, that's what makes it enticing, and the universe knows that, so it does what it needs to do. It's fair. If we weren't this way, then it wouldn't need to go about it that way, right? So definitely some sort of karmic energy, karmic just learning in this past relationship. That's why it probably ended with that judgment energy. But it looks like it's not quite done. It's about to spin the block. In your present energy, more cups. Eight of cups and the ten of cups. So definitely there was some walking away here. Someone had to walk away. There was a lot of time invested into this. With that eight of cups, there was a lot of time and emotions invested into this. Eight years, eight months, however long. The emotions, the level of emotions that you put into this or both of you put into this was enormous but despite the amount of emotional investment there was still something that was not adding up right there were still two cups missing somebody was not fulfilled it wasn't enough as much as there was a lot invested a lot of time and energy was put there intuition was calling them elsewhere with that moon being there that's your intuition your higher self saying uh-uh i know you want to hold on to this but uh-uh it's not it because you want 10, right? You want the ultimate. 
someone became very aware of that, although they were very aware that this was a soul, soul connection. I think maybe the karmic lesson was learned, especially with that judgment energy. Judgment call was made, karmic lesson was learned. The pain was felt and someone walked away. But there definitely was some sort of potential here for a long term, emotionally at least. Six of cups, eight of cups, ten of cups. And in your future energy, page of wands, nine of cups. Lots of cups, man. Lots of emotions. Lots of love. An enormous... Too much. Too much love. It's a lot of love. Page of Swords, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Observing Energy, Watching Energy. So this has ended, but someone is definitely not, um, they haven't detached. They're still very much invested, still watching, still observing, keeping an eye close, you know, because the connection is, was definitely there. There's no doubt about it with all these cups. <laughs> so someone walked away and someone was left just to watch. They were left watching from the outside probably wishing to be on the inside again with that nine of cups right lots of cups here six of cups eight of cups ten of cups nine of cups and you got two extra cards guess what ace of cups someone wants to start over someone wants to bring the life back into this ace of cups is very much speaking of bring the life back into this Someone is going to let it be known how much love they actually felt. Maybe it wasn't expressed. Because, I mean, this much love. What's under the judgment? Ah. This was the energy that was presented or, or masked before. You know? Someone wasn't maybe mature emotionally yet. Very much attracted, drawn, very much magnetized to you in the situation. And there was love here, believe it or not. Because it, this was what this was what was going on, right? And this is the energy that you were definitely in, Taurus. This is absolutely you, Queen of Pentacles, male or female, does not matter. You know your worth, your wife or husband material, and this person came in like this. Even though underneath this, there was all these cups, but this is how they're coming back in now. They're willing to take their time, slow and steady. Definitely matured from the you know, Sagittarius energy of the Page of Wands to the Knight of Pentacles. This is definitely more grounded. They've become more grounded. Matching your energy and full of emotion. More cups. Definitely expect communication from this person. Some sort of passionate back and forth sort of communication. Right? But this is why you had to walk away. This is why you had to walk away. Because they weren't getting it together. But they're not done. Renewal. Wanting victory and a renewal. This is their wish. Because they do see you as the end all be all with that Ten of Cups. This is marriage. Ten of Cups, Justice. Six of Cups. Nine of Cups. Ace of Cups. Six of Wands. Very much walking down the aisle sort of energy. Yeah. Just saying. It wasn't just... Oh, there you go. See that? Rabbit energy. Now is a lucky time. Number 49, which is a 13, which is a 4. Stability. This is what this person is wanting to bring. Multiplication. Fruitfulness. Having babies for some of you. You know rabbits. <laughs> yeah, now is a lucky time. Very passionate relationship this was or is. If it has not yet come into existence. If this is not somebody you have met. See? Moth of the flame, surrender now, moth spirit. Surrender now, moth to the flame, man. Crazy connection you have with somebody, and it's definitely a person. This does not work. This is not work. All these cups, wands. What do we have here? The end to a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. Beautiful energy. This could be a timing card as well. Capricorn season is approaching. I believe we're going into Capricorn season this week. Beautiful energy. This has been long. This is definitely picking up back on that Eight of Cups energy. All that emotional investment this person was in that, you know, player energy. Not ready for anything stable, even though there was a lot of love. If that was ever a question. With all these cups... They were just not mature enough. So, 
calling judgment. They want it back. Looks like they want to go all the way this time. Watching, observing, maybe trying to find a way to work their way back in or to get this wish that they're wanting off the ground. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. This is what they're contemplating, trying to figure out how to do, how to change the energy. There was This was a very playful, fun, loving connection. And if you have not met this person yet, and this is a past life soulmate that you are coming into contact with, definitely. This is going to be so full of love. You could be definitely walking away from some sort of past situation. If this is someone you have already met, which I definitely think it is. This is someone you were absolutely obsessed with at one point. All right, Taurus, this is what I have for you. I really do hope this resonates with all of you. Whether this is new or old love, you absolutely deserve this. Something you've definitely been wishing for. Something that has the potential to go all the way. Keep you happy for a very long time. And it's fair and right. This is what you deserve. Hope this resonates with all of you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. And I will see you all next week.